What's up guys, Ron9mm here. I'm joined today by Sexy Bob. So you know Jason at Dominate Defense. Mm -hmm. If you grab that box down there, I'm very excited about this. Oh, look at that. Check that out. Oh, the black multi-cam. Yeah, red very stitching. Nice. So. so this is what intrigued me about the Dominate Defense system, the ratcheting system. So you know all about this. We got t-shirts, we oh, got t-shirts. I love t-shirts. Oh, cool. It's a hoodie. I think it's hoodie time. Hoodie time. Hoodie time. Ooh. Wow, I've always wanted to be like a member of an ominous cult. <laughs> so, Brother Bob. Oh my goodness, look at Let's this. Dominate defense. Check that out, compete with confidence. Oh, very cool. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. So the beauty about this is the ratcheting system, right? So once you've got your holster set up and your mag pouches, really you get it on, you snug it down, and then you just ratchet it to how tight that you like it. I like my belt really, really tight, so I will ratchet this as much as I can. But then after I'm done shooting, all I need to do is just pop that and it relaxes on nice. the hips. So it'll stay on, but it'll just uh, just give you a little just bit Just loosen up and so that way it's not on as tight. Because right. think about the other, the normal uh, double belts, right? You got the full Velcro, right. the belt keeper. So you got to take off the belt keeper. Do this. Wrist dropping your gun. Getting DQ. All those fun things. I've been using the double alpha system and exactly as you say, it's just, it's all or nothing. You can't just kind of relax a little bit. Well, and also after that Velcro starts wearing out and you've yeah. got that belt keeper. So I had my double alpha and I uh, would use the belt keeper on the back. That's where yeah. the rear pieces would come up. So from squatting, uh, picking up uh, your round, you know, when you're showing clear and all that, I've had it come undone on the backside. That's just, embarrassing. Yeah, just once that Velcro starts giving, it just... It, it just, you, you yeah, just the have belts, to throw it away and get a new one. Yeah, the belt's coming off, and I'm actually up to using three of those keepers right now is what I'm using on my double alpha, but this is going to solve the problem. Yeah, because of the ratchet. Yeah. Key nice. of the ratchet. Now, real beautiful part of it. Like the belt by itself, you can use a regular inner belt um, on top of this. This is good. Uh, but the beauty of this system is you also get, I believe this is the Ranger belt, which is the inner belt. So we've got five loops here, and the real key is being able to hook this in, and then once your outer belt goes around it, as you cinch it, it tightens up with it. So you don't get that, that bulge that, that can happen uh -huh. um, with the regular belts, but with this one, it actually moves with it, and you can really suck it in. So that's got, what, about half an inch of give to it. It'll just kind of move about half an inch as the inner belt. Uh, the inner belt will move as the outer belt ratchets a little bit tighter, right? Exactly. Yeah. And also, this has adjustability here as well. So we can bring that down to here, put that up to there. So just little micro adjustments just to get it just, uh, just dialed in just right. And now I can actually ratchet even more. Mm -hmm. So this is fairly thin. This will fold and get out of the way. Okay. So you have that much ability when it comes to ratcheting to get the belt as tight as you want it. I think I should put this on. You need to see my incredible ratcheting system right now. See, see, it's uh... Oh, look at that. I got one of those, but mine's a little different. How am I gonna put this on? Well, you need to start with the inner belt. Okay, so I've got my inner belt. And so this just goes on like a regular belt, right? Yes, it does. Cool. So and then depending on which way that you have the ratchet, if you like the ratchet in the front or the rear, you're going to want to put that hook and belt on the same side as the ratchet. Put on the belt in the regular fashion. So you're going to want to cinch it in. Yeah, get it, get it tight. And then just the outer belt on the top, right? Mm -hmm. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the belt on the front. So just to undo it, just push. Yep. Hey. And then hold the belt where you think you're going to want it. Come around, and then push through. That's right. And, oh, check that out. It's even a little loop to put the excess in. Jason, you nailed this, man. That's absolutely perfect on me. So I've got a little bit of extra space, but I can just cinch it up. That's perfect. How's that look? Does that look all right? It's sexy. 
Thank you. What we should do is we should put some stuff on some belts, put some guns in the stuff, and then go to the range. What do you think? Sounds good. Cool. Doing that. What you got there? So here's uh, my belt that I got from uh, Jason. Mine's black with the red. I'm running this with my CZ Shadow 2 right now. So I've got my inner belt. And then the outer belt. So I'm running uh, some double alpha mag pouches. Uh, Red Hill Tactical with the Ben Stoger hanger, which I think fits on there really well. And so mine's set up with the ratchet in the back. Okay. So with this one, it just makes it a lot easier. So what I do is find my orientation on my hip, and then I run it around, and then just hook it up in the back. Let's make mine happen. So we're going to be using these Double Alpha XIP polymer pouches that I bought from Double Alpha Academy. I'm going to be putting, how many, you run three, I've got three of these, so we will put those on. Cue the dramatic montage. Oh, so that must be their spacer system. And suggestions, that's what I call instructions, Right. merely suggestions. Gotcha, and there's there. bits in there. Oh, that's probably the actual bar hinge and the hanger. Yep. Okay. We need the, is the tool in there? Yeah. Cool. That tool is just kind of, it's a good idea, but it's annoying. Take note. One hour later. That tool is actually really terrible. Yeah, hold that. Um, I think that's a T20. A 20? Mm-hmm. Oh, look at you, good guy. That's better. We have the know-how. We have the technology. We have no idea what we're doing. Eventually. So the thing with this is just trying to index exactly where it's going to go. I guess the best thing to do is just to put it in place and then adjust the belt lefty-righty as necessary. Yeah, so what I do is I set it on there and just leave it a little loosey-goose. Right. And then move it into where you want it. And I'm then thinking, that'll be well, your reference point. Yeah. Just wherever that part is on your head. Yeah. So this is the Ben Stoger Boss Hanger, and this is a Long's Shadow Holster, what is it called, Huron? Mm-hmm. Uh, check how thick that belt is. That is because of the steel core. Steel core insert, yeah. yeah. I have faith, it's going to be right the first time. I do like that. Yours has got that, right? Uh, yes, it does. Cool. It's a little... Keeper. That feels, that feels good. Let's see, let's put a gun in it. Say, does that have the Swamp Fox green dot? Why yes, it does have the Swamp Fox green dot. Right, guns, range, etc. How many targets do you reckon? How many is too many? We did bring a lot of clays, we just gotta save, yeah, save no, some. No, we, we stole a lot of clays. We have a ridiculous number of target stands and a ludicrous number of clays. I have an idea. There's a lot of targets. There's two of us. There's two guns. Let's shoot. Let's shoot. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. You are going to get hit with my brass pieces. You know? I have not considered that. We'll see what happens. Make ready. From surrender. Are you ready? Stand by. Ridiculous. How I'm many just pieces like, of brass guy? Really, testament to the Swamp Fox because a couple of bits of brass has went ping, bang, <laughs> and it's like not a problem. Not very scientific, but that's definitely fun. So uh, one thing I can notice with the Dominate Defense Belt is I'm carrying quite a lot of weight. As you know, the Shadow 2 is really not a very light gun. It feels just well supported. It feels like it spreads the weight like really well across like my hips. And you know, I've got like 
what's that 23 46 rounds here so a couple of pounds on that side a couple of pounds on that side and it feels good yeah balance is really well you know just my, my tummy could jiggle but uh, my belt's not going anywhere I know we weren't doing a whole lot of running around today or anything, but that, that thing just all day, it just sat right there and it was comfortable. I didn't feel like it was digging in on my hips. Mm. I don't know what it is, but the double alpha one, it, it after a while, it just starts kind of, I have to keep kind of pulling up my pants and just kind of adjusting that. But maybe that's because the Dominate Defense belt just kind of cinches in and just stays well, there. It cinches in, it yeah. cin cinches. It's a hard word. Cinches in. Have another drink. So what I've noticed with the double alpha is it is extremely stiff. Yep. So it's very hard for it to get the contour of the different hip shapes that are out there. The Dominate one, having that steel band, uh, which is a lot thinner, that when you cinch it down, it actually contours, I think, a lot better to the hips. So that way it doesn't shift or move a whole lot. I feel confident that I can just just micro cinch that just a little bit more just if it's hanging just either loosen it up just one ratchet or tighten it up a little bit and then you've got that finessing of the inner belt that you can just pull that inner belt mm -hmm. with the velcro just a little bit more that gives you just a bit more finesse so the mark one mac one mark one mark one belt from dominate defense is definitely worth 150 dollars yeah nice nice flash Having said that, Jason Bunderson at Dominate Defense has been kind enough to set up you guys with a coupon code. Run9mm at checkout will save you 10% off your order. I'm gonna put a QR code right over Robert's face. If you just wanna point your camera at the screen, head on over to dominatedefense.com. That will take you straight over there. Jason is an awesome guy and he has been very, very generous with his time and going back and forth with me and my inability to sort out my hips versus my waist. Finally, if you like the idea of the Steelbird system, Tavish at Steelbird offers 15% off. If you use the code RON9MMSB, which is Steelbird, at Amazon checkout, you're gonna save another 15% off. So I think that about wraps it up for today's show. I really want to say thank you very much to Robert for helping me out here. Check out his content. You can see it in the corner. He's available at noblerabbit.net. If you've enjoyed seeing me, please do like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to throw in a subscribe link down here. And always remember, as a wise man once said, you can't miss fast enough to win. Take care. Yeah!